ladies and beautiful people, and today, today is the day, today is the day I get to take another anime season off of my list. Today is the finale of Oshi Noko, episode 11. I am very surprised with this anime. I did not expect to fall in love with it as quickly as I did, but oh my god, the writing is absolutely amazing. The story is so captivating, and I've honestly found myself sucked into every single episode since that crazy ending on episode one, and I cannot wait to see how they round off this season, and I cannot wait to watch season two as well when that comes out. But for now, I'm going to stop talking. Make sure you guys subscribe if you want more anime reactions, and let me know what you want me to react to next in that comment section down below. Without more talking from me, let's jump into my first time every action to Oshinoko's finale of season one, episode 11. I can't believe how excited I am. Hmm, what are you going to do? Oh, Mana? I saw a cute girl in the booth. I saw a cute girl in the booth. I like it. 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 That laugh. That laugh. That laugh. Oh, the devil. The hellish one. It's good. There. There. There.店長、このまま次のステージ見てっていいっすか?メムちゃんが出るんすよ。名前は聞いたことあるな。何の子配信者なんですけどね。可愛くて面白いんすよ。最近今がちって番組出てて。ああ、炎上したやつか。その子がビ
I, I don't know. I don't know. They sound good. Am I crazy? <laughs> they sound good, right? Should they do well? They sound they like they sound very good for like a ragtag put together group. They sound good. They sound good, right? No, no, just me. I feel I feel like they do. <laughs> この子は眩しいな。ありがとうございました。アイドルが好きでずっと楽しそうで、アイドルになるために。今この瞬間も誰かの心を奪ってどんどんファンを増やして、こういう子が上がっていくんだろう。次はみんなお待ちかねのあの大ヒットソング。サインはビー。羨ましい。みんなに見てもらえて求められて私のことを見てくれる人は誰もいない。I feel so flipping I feel so, so flipping sorry for Kana. I think the main reason I feel so sorry for her is because she just is like swallowed by self-doubt all the time. She dep she like just puts herself down all the time, constantly, like about everything. And she is, she's pretty. She's incredibly talented. She's very sweet. There is nothing wrong with her. She's literally bloody perfect. And it just breaks your heart that she puts herself down so much. So much. Also, Ruby is like the version of I... That I wanted to be. Which I find really interesting as well when you think about it. Mama mo manager mo. Watashi no koto hottara kashite. Fan desu ra miteru no wa. Mukashi no watashi no omokage dake. Tare ka watashi o mite. Sore dake o jiu su nen sakebi tsuzukete kita no ni. Watashi ga hitsuyo da to itte. Sore sae itte kuderu nara. Watashi wa dore dake demo ganbatte miseru. あの子は使えるって言って。そしたら馬車馬のように働くよ。頑張ったねって褒めて。そしたらもっともっと頑張るのに。ああ、誰か。誰か。私はここにいて行って行って。I was so hoping. I was so hoping. Yeah. ました顔して何してんのあいつ。決めたわ。私がアイドルやってる間にあんたの再流を真っ白に染め上げてやる。あんなの。決めたわ。私がアイドルやってる間にあんたの再流を真っ白に染め上げてやる。あんなの。決め
damn it, I love this anime. It's so well done. It's so, so, so well done. どうだった私たちのステージ。まあ、初めてにしては良くやったんじゃないかえ、何それもっと褒めなさいよ。それはできない。有馬たちはこれからもっとすごいライブをやれるだろうし、それを考えたらここで高得点出すのはもったいない。
ちょっと昔のお兄ちゃんみたいあかねちょっと頑張んないとだぞ<笑> She's rooming for Akane. I guess because she knows Akane actually likes her. Likes Akane. Yeah, like that. Yeah, I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take you to the next one. I'm going to take これ娘もアニメ見てハマってるよ舞台ってことは 2.5 次元ってやつかそうそう<笑>予算もがっつり取ってきたし今回は派手に行くよステージも面白いとこでさ360度回転させて CG を多用し原作の雰囲気を再現裏方もいいとこ押さえておいてなるほどそして舞台化にあたって劇団ラララ,ライの協力も取り付けたおお暑いねあの金大師さんをよく口説き落としたもんだやっぱ予算の力よ舞台はどこも懐事情厳しいからあとはキャスティングなんだけどラララいから黒川あかねは積もれそうでも客層的にイケメンと美人は必須なわけあそこは若いキャスト少ないから何人か外部の子引っ張ってこないとねこの辺強いのはやっぱカブラギちゃんでしょうよなんかいい子いないいないことはないけど多分これから来る子たち紹介してもいいけど貸し一つだぜいやいやカブラギちゃんが目をかけてる子たちに成長のチャンスをあげるってんだからむしろこっちが貸し一つでしょうんうん<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>冗談成立だなとりあえずこれでファン向け彼氏彼女のアリバイは作れたしばらくは安泰だけど例の件もうそっちには話いった<笑>東京ブレイドの話かそうそうお世話になってるラララ行って劇団が中心になってやるから私にも話来てるんだ劇団ラララ何かの一助になればと思い僕がある劇団のワークショップを紹介したワークショップ劇団ラララ行っていうあかね君が所属している劇団だね当時はそんなに有名でもなかったのだけどそこだろうね愛が恋をしたのはワークショップに通ってから彼女は身なりにも気を使うようになりいい食事の場所を聞いてくるようになったさすがに相手が誰かまではわからないけれど一気に大人の顔になったのを覚えているよ興味があるならラララいの主催を紹介するそこなら君の求めてる答えに近づけるだろうもちろんやる。I still find it interesting how he's so open to giving Aqua so much information. He's just like, I'm gonna give this guy everything. He's just some super fan. I'm gonna give him all the information. Do you know, does, am I the only one who finds it a bit peculiar that he's so open to giving inf private information? I, I, get, I know I's passed away and everything like that, but still, he's just so open to giving private information to what he believes is just a super fan. And even if he works close to that person, it's, it's not deemed as like a relationship of gossip, it's deemed as a, an exchange of information. Which is kind of suspicious. And everyone seems to disagree with me in the comments, but I don't know, I just find it strange. My number one suspect is still that guy. And I keep saying this because we don't have anyone else to suspect. No one else at the moment, other than that dude. So he is my number one suspect because he's the only suspect. And I just think he may have faked the DNA. That's my guess. He just faked it. It was a cigarette, right? That's my guess. He just faked the DNA. <笑>絶対キャスティングした人狙ってるよね。2.5 は BL 需要が高いと思うんだけど、これはありなのか？原作が男女カップリング多い作品だから、もちろん女の子はそういう見方する人多いけど、同期はサブキャラだけど、ラ
ヒロインキャラと相棒キャラのどっちと結ばれるかで毎週盛り上がってるよ陶器の相棒キャラは剣かあっちもそろそろ決まるはず誰になるんだろうね私よあぶはい Right now we heard a voice Now we're gonna ignore that voice that we just heard And we are all going to immediately guess We are going to immediately guess who the fuck is going to be cast in that position. Well, well, I don't know. Who do you guys think? Who do you guys think? So, we got Mr. Aqua over here and two love interests who both have a crush on Mr. Aqua. However, Mr. Aqua is completely stupid. He is completely ignorant and has no idea what the hell is going on because he does not think like that. He is a robot in a human's body. So, he is me, more, me, me, boop, 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 boop. And people are getting feelings for him and he's like, feelings, I don't understand. Like, that's the G what he's doing. Okay, so who do you reckon is going to be cast in the second spot? Hmm, who is a brilliant actress? Huh? Who could it be? Who is that voice? Who is that Pokemon? Is it Pikachu? <laughs> Would you look who it is? Real time no toko wa yame na sai. Go yu toko kara akushitsu na fan ni oi kake dare te. Stalker higai ni ao koto mo aru. 外での写真は全て予約投稿が基本また変な揉め事で周りに迷惑かけたいの学習しないわね that's that's そうかかなちゃんが剣役か共演は何年ぶりてっきり役者辞めたんだと思ってた今はアイドルだもんねお金ずっと頑丈に引きこもってお金にならない仕事してても仕方なくないそういえば最近恋愛リアリティショー出てたっけ私生活切り売りして人気出てきたらしいじゃないよかったわねーありま<笑>ま近くだったから注意しに来ただけよお仕事デートの続きは場所を変えなさいじゃフォーザレストオブヨーワークデイカナカナハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ So, I don't really want to see either of them get hurt. It's a tough one. They both like Aqua. I, I don't want to see either of them get heartbroken. They're both really nice and sweet. So, I don't want to like purposely just 100% get behind someone, even though I am leaning towards Kana. I don't want to do that. I feel bad doing that.、Um, but yeah, the Instagram thing is 100% true. You, like, that, is a, that is a rookie move. That's a rookie move. Even I know that. And I'm a tiny little YouTuber. <laughs>私たちは同い年で、子役の時からこの業界にいるから、それはもう。まあ仲良くやれよ。できないよ。昔からやりたかった役を片っ端から持っていかれて、想像してよ。あの天才子役と同じ年に生まれちゃった役者の気持ちを
ルビーももしかしたらこの先アイドルになるのかもって思っててアクアは役者さん二人はどんな大人になるのかな Still hurts, man. Still hurts. 愛をあんな目に合わせたやつが芸能界にいるどんな手を使ってでも必ず見つけ出してやるそのためなら、俺は。I will。Well, this is interesting. Is there an off the credits, maybe? Where was this? No. No after credits. Interesting ending. Interesting ending. Interesting ending. That's the finale? Hmm. I wasn't expecting that. It definitely seems like the finale was, was more centered around. Surprisingly, actually. The finale was more centered around the love triangle being formed than the B. Komochi performance, which I thought was going to be the final part of this episode. I thought it was going to end with that performance, but it seems like. It definitely seems like it was more catered to the love triangle before,、uh, like, forming between Akane, Kana, and Aqua.、Um, <clears throat> ah, interesting. And now they're all joining the Tokyo Blade. Um, Broadway play that is a 3D rotating 360 degrees moving 2D.5 something stage. I don't know, with, with 9. millimeter something. I don't know, whatever. I'm just making up numbers.、Um, it's a pretty cool stage, is, is what it is.、Um, sounds pretty awesome. I'd watch it. Do animes get made into Broadway shows? Like on stage shows? That happen? Hmm. I never, I never even thought of that. I can imagine Death Note on stage, I guess. It's got this sort of theatrics around it. I can't really imagine any other one I've seen so far on stage. I guess any of the romance ones that don't require that much CGI effort would probably be fine on stage, but I think like a drama of Death Note would probably be the best, right? Steins Gate would probably do quite well as well. I imagine that'd be kind of cool. I don't know. Is this a normal thing they do? Anyway, the love triangle is forming. Who will get Aqua's heart? Will it be his weird sister complex? Who knows? Maybe, it's gonna, maybe the show is just going to completely left turn that way and we're going to slap all of us in the face. Um, I don't think so. But you never know. But I don't think so.、Um, so, Akane has a huge raging woman boner for Aqua. Kana has a huge raging woman boner for Aqua. And Aqua has a huge raging boner that he doesn't know what to do with. So he's just kind of sitting there, <laughs> not knowing what's going on. We haven't really seen any sort of glimpse of romance one way or the other because Aqua always plays both sides, plays down the middle, and just sees it all of as, as a job. In a way, he seems so entangled with finding out who his mother's killer's, killer was that he's literally blinded himself to everyone else's emotions and it sort of shut his own emotions off, which makes, Kana,、uh, which makes Aqua just this walking robot who is completely blind to these people falling for him. <clears throat> The problem is, if you keep being nice to people like he is being, because he does have a good heart, you're eventually going to see repercussions from it. Akane, who is this emotionally stunted and damaged girl who went through a lot, obviously feels. Very attached to Aqua for doing what he did.、Um, and Kana, going through a lot as a child actress and actor, and never feeling the spotlight on her, she's now grown up and she's only really been ever seen eyes from Aqua. She's the only one who looks at her. So, like I said, it's a very tough one to root for one girl or the other because they're both nice. There's, there's nothing that sort of swayed me one way or the other, and I, I would just kind of feel bad if, for either of them. It's, a, it's, a, it's such a bizarre one. I don't know who to root for. So I'm sort of. I, I am rooting more for Kana, but at the same time, I don't want Akane to be heartbroken because it just sucks. So it's, it's very strange when you're left in this position where you just. 
You just don't know, right? Is it anyone else like that? <clears throat> it's love triangle forming. It's going to be interesting to see what happens next uh, with this Broadway show. We didn't really see any inklings towards the Mother Killer stuff. That was sort of left uh, a little bit. It definitely focused more on the love triangles. So that seems to be the arc that season two is going to be taking. Um, I am quite heavily focused in the B. Komachi stuff as well, though. I want to see what happens with their group. I was kind of hoping we were going to see feedback from their performance this episode, but for some reason we didn't, because we have no idea if anyone liked their performance, which I guess leaves another sort of thread that we need to we need to look at when it comes to season two. I don't know how long we have to wait or if it's even been confirmed, but I think it has. But hopefully not too long. <clears throat> what did you guys all think of season one? What did all you think of? I feel like the finale could have could have been like... I don't know. I feel... I don't know. I don't know. And like, it didn't feel like it was like a huge build to something big happening in season two. It almost felt like th this was like they weren't sure they were going to get season two in any kind of a way. It felt, it felt very much wrapped up in terms of a good story. Um, like it ended a lot of lines but left a lot of questions open. But in terms of a season, it's quite a good like solid season in itself, right? If you know what I mean. I don't know. What do you guys think? What did you guys think of this? Overall, I will say Oshinoko, a fantastically well-written anime, incredibly enjoyable, and I've been recommending it to everybody. I have liked every single episode of this. I've enjoyed getting to know these characters. I feel incredibly attached to this anime, and I'm very surprised, because if you wrote down the storyline of this anime on paper and asked me to watch it, I would have said no. I would have been like, no, this doesn't look like anything I'm going to be interested in. And I would be completely wrong because I've fallen for this anime and I've enjoyed every single second of it. Oshinoko is brilliantly done. The first episode is masterfully crafted and every episode since then has been addictive. It's brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of it. Post all your theories in the comment section down below. But please, if you've read the manga, do not spoil it for anyone. You don't want, you, like, you enjoy reading it for the first time. So let other people experience it for the first time. Don't do any spoilers, please. I would appreciate that. And if you enjoyed my reactions, be sure to press that subscribe button as well. And join the family. I love all of you wonderful people. Have an absolutely incredible day. And as always, my friends, you right there will see me in the next video.